Hi my loves, so today I'm back with a new video. Today is going to be a review of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation, which is probably my most favorite foundation of all time. I use it a ton. I used to use it all the time and then I kind of stopped once I got like really into makeup because I discovered like a whole bunch of other brands because I used to like only use MAC. And then I discovered like the drugstore and a bunch of other brands and kind of branched off to new foundations. But I've recently gone back to my old favorite because it's just literally amazing. It's by far my favorite foundation. If I could only pick one foundation, I would pick the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. So I decided to do a review on it on my channel and just a little demo as well. I do have one of these already that I filmed like two years ago. It was like one of the first videos that I put up on my channel, but the quality was like horrible and the video is just like embarrassing. So I decided to refilm it for you guys in better quality and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it and do a demo because I didn't have that in my older video either. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. This is what the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation looks like. If you guys are not familiar with it, I have them in NC30 and NC40. There is an NC35, which is in between these two shades, but I don't find that that shade is perfect for me. Really, the perfect shade, annoyingly enough, is a mixture of these two. I tend to use NC30 on the inner parts of my face and NC40 on the outer parts of my face, and it just is the most perfect shade for me, so I do buy both shades, annoyingly and enough. I have pretty dry skin, really dry to normal skin. I do not have oily skin, so a lot of this is going to be um, pertaining to my dry skin although I do have a bunch of friends with oily skin that use this foundation and they do like it just as much um, but it keeps me completely matte I do get a little bit oily in my nose area and I never have an issue with the MAC Studio Fix in my nose area when I'm getting oily or anything like that it keeps it completely matte another thing that I really just love about this foundation is that it is so full coverage it's amazing but it doesn't look cakey because a lot of times I think really full coverage foundations like the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation or the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation those are super full coverage and they're kind of like a almost cakier consistency they're kind of like a moussey type consistency this is completely a liquid foundation so you can build it up to be super cakey if you like that but just one layer, which is typically what I use. I use about two pumps. That's an annoying part about it is that it doesn't come with a pump. So you do have to buy the pump separately from Mac, but they do have them. So I have one pump on one of them. Um, but I use about two pumps of the foundation in total on my face and it just gives a beautiful flawless canvas to work with but it's not super super cakey which I love it does have a matte finish it's definitely full coverage it's just amazing like but like I said if you are too heavy-handed with it you can definitely get like that cake face look if that's what you're looking for um you can do that with this foundation for sure it's just a really good like I if I have if I know that I have to go somewhere where I'm gonna be like photographed or where I'm you know gonna need my makeup to stay on for a really long time or I just really want to make sure that I look flawless this is always the foundation that I go to I've just never had an issue with it it just looks perfect from the moment that you apply it to literally the moment that you take it off it's very very long lasting which I love about it Mac has a bunch of different foundations but this one by far is the most long lasting and the best one that I've ever tried I just literally love it I do like to apply it best with the beauty blender as you guys saw in the demo I just think that blends it out the nicest. I just love the Beauty Blender with liquid foundations, but you can also blend it out with a flat top kabuki or even with your fingers. I mean, although I don't do that anymore, when I did first have this foundation, I used to blend it out with my fingers and it didn't look that bad, honestly. So if you don't even have any brushes, you could probably blend this out with your fingers. It's very easy to blend onto your skin because it's just a very, it's not like super liquidy because I hate foundations that are too liquidy, but I tend to find with full coverage foundations, sometimes they can be hard to blend out and I don't have that issue with this foundation whatsoever at all. So one of the best things about it is that it's not super, super expensive because, you know, I know at Sephora and stuff like some like Laura Mercier foundations and stuff like that and even Dior, like the foundations can get out to be like $60 and to me that's just ridiculous. They could be awesome foundations but I'm just not willing to pay $60 for foundation. I just think that that's crazy where the MAC Studio Fix Fluid is only $28. So for a high-end foundation that's actually pretty on the low end most foundations at Sephora like start at like 30 so $28 is actually pretty inexpensive for high end obviously you can get cheaper from the drugstore and everything like that but I think this is better than a lot of the high-end foundations that I've tried I've tried like all the makeup forever foundations and while I do like them and they are much more pricey this is a better foundation hands down in my opinion I just love it full coverage matte 
long wearing, like what else could you ask for in a foundation? Those are, that's what I look for personally in a foundation and that's definitely what I get from these. So I just love that and it's at a somewhat affordable price, which is really nice. And I believe the pump is an additional $8, but you know, if you buy one pump, you never have to buy it again. You can just transfer it to all of your different bottles as you buy. Another thing that I truly, truly love about this foundation, and this is definitely if you are a person that self tans a lot like me, they have the biggest color range I think of any foundation ever. Like I'm not even kidding, there's a bajillion shades. MAC is awesome with that stuff. They always have so many shades of all of their products, especially for the face, and the MAC Studio Fix Fluid has like a whole NW line for like neutral warm, whole N NC line for neutral cool, I believe. They have like a couple other ones as well, but I mean, all together, there's probably like 30 foundation shades. If you have cool tone, if you have warm tone, if you have neutral skin, and you know, if you're like super, super light, you can, they have NC like 15, which is like really, really light. And then I think it goes all the way up to like NW, I wanna say like, I don't even know, but pretty dark. So they really have a huge range, which is really, really nice because really there should be a shade for everyone, at least I hope. I love MAC, you guys know that. I think that if I only could pick one high-end brand, it would be MAC. And like I said, if I could only pick one high-end foundation, it would be this foundation for sure, hands down. I've never had an issue with it breaking out my skin. I know sometimes I've heard from people that MAC skincare products do bother them. I have somewhat sensitive skin and I've never had this an foundation issue. does have SPF 15 in it, so it's awesome. You don't have to separately apply any sunscreen to your face if that's something that you do every day, which you should be doing to protect your skin. So you don't have to do that when you're wearing this foundation because it's already built into the foundation. If you are taking a lot of pictures with flash, it could potentially flash back because it does have that sunscreen in it. I've never had that happen to me, um, but it is potential just because I have heard when sunscreen is in foundations, it can flash back. I get questions about that all the time. What is my favorite foundation? You know, Holy Grail foundation. It's definitely the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Like I said, it was like the first foundation that I ever bought and I recently just went back to it and I literally am reaching for it every single day. It's just amazing. I really, really like it. So thumbs up so to yeah, them. those are my thoughts on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so, so much to me.